Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Diamondbacks versus Angels Major League Baseball matchup on Thursday, June 13th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK, get 15% off. We also offer products that are not available on our website. These are meant for people that make big bets, people with big bankrolls. You get these by texting the number you see on the screen. They are more expensive than our regular premium picks that you get at the premium picks tab. But if you have it within your bankroll, they're worth it. So by all means, text. But let's get to it. Got the D-backs taking on the Angels. Brandon fought on the mound for the D-backs. It's Griffin Canning on the mound for the Angels. We've seen highs and lows from both these guys, that's for sure. And Fott has been re- pretty much racked up in his last three starts, allowing five runs against the Padres, four against the Mets, and four against the Rangers. 13 runs in his last three outings and going uh, about 18 innings over that span. Uh, we know what that does to the ERA. He's got a 4.60 coming into this thing, allowing 74 hits through 78 and third innings. 40 earned runs, 76 strikeouts, 10 home runs, and 15 walks. So he doesn't walk a lot of batters. He challenges a lot of batters. So he gives up a lot of hits and a lot of home runs. And that is not a good thing. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'd way rather have a guy that does that than have a guy that walks in runs. There's nothing more annoying than that. Anyways, Griffin Canning for the Angels had a horrible start to the season. He kind of has put the pieces back together. But as of late, he's been getting hit once again, too, allowing three runs last time out against the Houston Astros, one prior to that against the Mariners, and three prior to that against the Yankees, who, well, I think three runs allowed against the Yankees actually isn't such a bad day at the office. But Canning's ERA still up there in the 4.65 range, allowing 70 hits over 69 and two-thirds innings of work. So that's more hits than innings that he's pitched. He's also given up 11 bombs and has walked 26. So he has like a lot of these really bad numbers that we try and stay away from. But a lot of these things were built up earlier this season. And I think, you know, we can't really hold that much against them. When we look at Canning, it's a guy that you really got to look at the last three starts type guy. 3.50 ERA over that 18 innings of work, 20 hits and seven runs, 11 strikeouts, five walks and two home runs. Not all that bad. I think when we look at, you know, um, you know the way these teams are hitting the baseball coming into it, you know, the Angels are really one of the worst teams in baseball. There's really no other way to, way to uh, slice it. You know, it's just they are what they are. They're hitting 225 versus righties, while the D-backs hitting 229 versus righties. But when we break it down to a subset of their last 10 games, the Angels hitting just 186 versus right-handed pitching. Yuck! And the Diamondbacks at 274 versus right-handed pitching. What looks to be an absolute mismatch. But the thing is, is that I think Canning is the far better righty that that than uh than fought and i think that's the difference in this game well, I, I kind of th- understand that the Diamondbacks can hit the ball and, you know, they can get to that Angels bullpen. I think that Canning hands the ball over to the Angels bullpen with the lead. I, I like the Angels in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They're 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.